hi, um, I'm Anne-Marie. I teach Psych 4 in Beauceville at the, the Prudent PSF. I have enriched students, PI students, and regular students. For the purpose of the project today, I did it with um, language students, so a bit stronger students. I decided to integrate technology in one of the projects that I've been doing for a few years now. So I modified it and integrated iPads. I'm comfortable with technology, but I don't use it all the time. I'll integrate it here and there. So we use computer labs. Sometimes I use a smart board and the iPads once in a while. So um, I don't use all the technology like Moodle and things like that. I would like to learn though, but um, I would say I'm so, so with technology. Yeah, we have a set of 33 iPads here. Um, mobile lab so we have to reserve it on the website and then bring it back every period we have a 10 period break and here people use a lot the computer lab so it's hard you have to really reserve it in advance I reserve mine a month or two in advance and for that we have to be planning in advance too mm -hmm. students are allowed to have their devices too so sometimes we use the device in class when it's um, for the purpose of an activity um, so when we have a few iPads missing, we can share also the iPad. Sometimes I have 15, another teacher has 15, and I complete with the students' cell phones. The pedagogical intention behind this activity was actually to develop students' um, communicative skills, reflective skills, teamwork as well, and I wanted them to reinvest um, the text, the information we did prior to the final task. And we're going to serve. It's for serve trip, but I repeat actually. It the task you saw using the iPad was uh, the publishing process. Before that, they wrote a journal um, blog or kind of entries they did in team. And I wanted them to apply that. They worked on an alias called On the Edge, where they had to talk about survival. So we looked at real life stories in authentic context as well. So it's part of the cultural aspect of the program as well, because we were able to see interviews by people that actually lived this dif these different stories. Um, they saw videos, they read text, they worked in teams. We developed a language, functional language also to the task. And the final task was in team. They had to produce their own survival journal as if they were themselves living a um, surviving moment. For example, let's say uh, two students, it could be me and a friend going on a road trip and there's a big storm, we end up in the ditch and we're covered in snow, so all we have in the car is an old pizza box and a pen, so we're stuck there, we didn't tell anybody, so we start writing a blog like day one, we've been here for three hours, it's cold, we have no food, so they had to actually write a journal. That part was evaluated, and as a final product, we did the um, publishing part using the iPad, a bit like the Blair Witch um, Project movie. It'd be so bad right now. I drank all the milk because she's allergic, and I don't want to expire because it will smell so bad. I tried to jump so the helmet theater can go down, but she was so scared. And I could have asked the questions. Um, on the tasks they've done before and evaluate the response for a C2, but I did not. It was more of a fun activity in the end. And at the same time, I think they had to develop a bit of empathy because they had to put themselves in a position of survival and also they had to understand how the people that lived these situation, um, what they had to deal with. And at the same time, I think that today, I real they realized how hard it was to actually um, talk and record themselves, so they had to communicate together as students, and they had also to, they were able to view themselves and improve themselves and realize the mistakes they were doing. So.